This video will demonstrate the use of the financial app in a Casio ClassPad 2 to calculate values associated with a compound interest loan. This sort of calculation features in senior mathematics courses like VCE Further Mathematics and WACE Mathematics Applications, which require answers to questions like this one. This question requires the calculation of the balance of a loan after 10 years before the interest rate on the, for the remaining 5 years can be calculated. To find the balance after 10 years, open the financial app and if not already chosen, select compound interest. Enter N, the number of compounding periods, as 120, being monthly periods for 10 years. The interest rate as a percentage, which is 4.35, and the PV, or present value, as 245,000. Press Execute between these entries. Enter the payment as negative 1,800, as it is a payment being made to the bank. Leave the FV, or future value, blank, as that is what we will be calculating and enter the payments per year and compounds per year as 12. With that done, tap the FV icon to find the value of the balance after 10 years. The negative value tells us that $108,219 is still owing to the bank. To answer the question about the changed interest rate, we should consider the remaining five years as a new loan with a present value of $108,219. To do this, make sure the present value is selected and then use the cut and paste tools from the top toolbar to enter this value as the new present value. The sign of this entry needs to be changed to positive as it is the present value of the new loan. Change the number of compounds to 60, representing 5 years in months. Change the payments to 2000, remembering that this value is negative, and change the future value to 0, as the loan will be fully repaid. Now tap on the interest icon. This shows us that the interest rate for the last 5 years must be about 4.1%, which is answer B. Getting this question correct requires careful tracking of values needed for subsequent calculations as well as understanding the sign conventions of financial apps like the class pads. These same challenges are present in the following question. See how you go. The correct answer is option E.